The definition of a market price for a transaction applies only to the price for one specific exchange under the stated conditions. A second exchange of an identical unit, even under circumstances that are almost exactly the same, could result in a different market price. A market price is clearly distinguished from any other prices. For example, a market price is not equal to a price quoted in the market. A world market price, going price, or a fair market price. Any price that is intended to express the generality of prices for a class of supposedly identical exchanges, rather than the price that is actually applied to a specific exchange, should not necessarily be construed as equivalent to a free market price. In other words, a market transaction should not be interpreted as occurring exclusively in a purely competitive market situation. In fact, a market transaction could take place in a monopolistic or any other market structure. Indeed, the market may be so narrow that it consists of a sole transaction of its kind between independent parties. When a price is agreed by both parties in advance of a transaction taking place, this agreed or contractual price is the market price for that transaction, regardless of the prices that prevail when the transaction takes place. Therefore, we presume that the actual exchange values expressed in monetary terms are the market prices in most cases. Prices for transactions in goods and services are inclusive of appropriate taxes and subsidies. A market price is the price payable by the buyer after taking into account any rebates, refunds and adjustments from the seller. Transactions in financial assets and liabilities are recorded at the prices at which they are acquired or disposed of. However, transactions in financial assets and liabilities should be recorded exclusive of any service charges, commissions, fees, taxes, and similar payments for services that would be necessary to acquire the asset or incur the liability. These costs of ownership transfer are excluded regardless of whether these are charged explicitly, included in the purchaser's price, or deducted from the seller's proceeds. Both debtors and creditors should record the same amount for the same financial instrument. The valuation of financial instruments which exclude commission charges, differ from the valuation of non-financial assets, excluding land, which includes any costs of ownership transfer. We include costs of ownership transfer on land in the value of land improvements. Sometimes, market prices for transactions are not observable. For example, in the case of some barter or transferring kind transactions, valuation according to market price equivalents would provide an approximation to market prices. So, market prices for the same or similar items, when such prices exist, will provide a good basis for applying the principle of market prices. Market prices are readily available for stock positions in assets and liabilities that are traded in active markets. This is most commonly the case for certain financial assets and their corresponding liabilities. We need valuations according to market value equivalents to value assets and liabilities that are not traded in markets or which are only traded infrequently. For these assets and liabilities, it will be necessary to estimate values that would approximate market prices. Typically, the nominal values of these financial assets and liabilities are the best proxy for their market values. To determine the valuation of the other changes in volume of non-financial assets, one usually has to determine the market value of the asset before and after the economic event. The value of the other change in volume is calculated as the difference in the market value of the non-financial asset immediately before and after the event. We record other changes in the volume of financial assets and liabilities at market or market equivalent prices of similar instruments. Holding gains and losses or revaluations represent price changes in assets and liabilities held during a reporting period. If the assets and liabilities are valued at their current market values in the opening and closing balance sheets, then holding gains and losses include the changes in current market prices. 